we're here at the premiere of the Ken Loach film. How many of his previous works have you seen before and what have they meant to you? I've seen pretty well most of his films at various stages and places and um, I'm always impressed and I remember very well the premiere of I, Daniel Blake because uh, we were all waiting outside the cinema just around the corner and one of his team came out and said, OK, hands up those of you that are on benefit. And people put their hands up and we said, right, you all come in, you've got front row seats. <laughs> so it was kind of a delicious, lovely moment. And um, the film is incredibly powerful. And also his other films, Kez is obviously the one that's usually mentioned, but I also think uh, The Wind That Shakes the Barley was a very powerful film. And I remember showing that in a community centre in my community. And then Ken came and took part in discussion about how he made the film. And that's the important part because the people that are in his films are of the community, of the issues, of the struggles. And that's what's powerful about it. And do you think that films have a special way of communicating this that sometimes doesn't come across in speeches or things like that? Absolutely. Um, you can't win everything with speeches, you can't win everything with meetings. You do it with music, you do it with theatre, you do it with dance, you do it with art, you do it with street art, and above all, you do it with film. Now, we're all here tonight in this wonderful cinema here in Leicester Square. Wow, what an achievement to get it on in Leicester Square. But we're all here seeing it together, and that's the sense of empowerment. But if you and I sat down and watched it on the television, yeah, we'd watch it and we'd admire it, I'm sure, but it wouldn't be the same because we'd end up chatting to each other, one of us would go off and get a cup of tea and come back and so on. It's never the same. In a cinema, lights down, watch the film. Fantastic. And, and it's one of these, the, the story of shared community experience, which is so strong in his film. Is that something that resonates particularly with you? Yes. Um, I represent a constituency that's very mixed. There are very wealthy people as well as very poor people in it. But I do see every day that strength of community in the uh, mutual aid groups, in the food banks and so much else and I'm very impressed by all of that. But I'm also impressed with the stoicism of refugee groups and what they go through and what they achieve. And I've never forgotten meeting a young girl in a refugee camp on the border of Iraq and Syria. Pretty awful situation she was in. And I said to her and her family, what's your ambitions? What do you want to do in life? And she looked at me and said, sir, I want to be a doctor. I thought, wow. Young girl in a refugee camp, no secure future whatsoever. She wants to be a doctor. And you know what? I'm sure she is one by now. So it's the, it's the hope of people. And we should sort of understand, you know, any of us could be refugees in a different situation. Yeah. And, and hope doesn't have a bottom line. It, it doesn't work in an Excel spreadsheet. How do you think we can move towards a, a, a way of living that do, just do, doesn't count numbers? Deal with inequality through taxation in part, but also by opportunities for people. But also recognise that we have amazing and massive technologies now to do lots of things. We could have shorter working week. We could have much more shared resources in our society. We don't have to cut spending on public services and so on, which is what we're doing. So it is about thinking a bit beyond that, about social justice and sharing, not just on the global scale, but also on the national scale and the local scale. And so what this film and other films that Ken has done is provokes people to think. People thinking positively and hopefully an unstoppable force. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey you guys! <laughs> hey you guys! <laughs> hey, that's what they all say. Hey you guys! Hey you guys!